to Miss Universe Nigeria 2023 has begun. So far, so good. The camp is open. Welcome to the first ever crowning moments of Miss Universe Nigeria 2023. I am Bridget, and the journey so far has been amazing. The entries were sent in by thousands of beautiful young ladies and were shortlisted to 70 girls who were really eager to be a part of this competition. Let's take it back through Memory Lane with Victory Wilson as she shares her excitement of the screening process. The journey to Miss Universe Nigeria 2023 begins here. The universe is ready and the girls are ready. Okay, so we are here now in the hall where we have our over 70 contestants. Miss Universe Nigeria 2023! I think I should part of the 39 contestants of Miss Universe Nigeria because I will use this platform to promote diversity. I intend to display a lot of courage. I believe I have a message out there for every woman. I love to use my passion for mental health. I would really love to tell my story to the world. Because I'm a woman who is filled by my passion to impact lives. I have an unusual combination of soft skills that I feel makes me unique. My unwavering dedication to inspiring positive change. Body dysmorphia is a disorder where you see flaws and imperfections that do not exist. I have beauty with brains. I'm confident. Most importantly, my smile is everything. I am ready to use this platform to serve as a woman. I am body grace and poise that, that is expected of from the next Miss Universe. I know I can achieve whatever thing I set my mind to. I have this passion for nature, which is an intrinsic force that drives me. I want to become the next Miss Universe in Nigeria because I'd like to create a platform that will inspire the young people to be their best. I should be among the next 37 because of my honest desire for growth. I want to be able to share my struggles and how I have overcome them. I am deeply passionate about mitigating societal vices surrounding women. I believe in the journey to empowering others, one has to empower themselves first. I am passionate about women's education, well-being, employment opportunity. I want to mirror the virtue, strength, greatness and might of the Nigerian woman. I am eager to work tirelessly with this organization. He is spokesperson for women's rights. Being the Miss Universe is both an honor and the responsibility and it will help me to take on a, a larger role in the community. Promoting women is something that naturally resonates with me. And compete at the best level as you succeed. I would love to be part of the 37 girls because I, will, I love change and I will bring an impact to make a change around the universe. One thing I believe is to build the confidence, the health and mental well-being of individuals in Nigeria. To advocate for a future forged by women who are not afraid to push the limits of possibility. I'm here to advocate for girl leadership and advocate against self-sabotage because I believe every young girl out there should be comfortable in their own skin. I'm very passionate about women inclusivity in leadership and mental health because I believe our mental health is the cornerstone upon which we should build our lives. I need the girl child to know that there's more to life than just lifestyle because presently I believe that girls right now are more focused on lifestyle than actually what life has to offer. At least you've heard from the beautiful ladies what they are bringing to the table as regards Miss Universe Nigeria. Their strategies and their strengths, it's so interesting to listen to. We also got to talk to our bosses and we got into the major activity of the day, the physical screening. Really rigorous, but we enjoyed it. Main office told me that it has to be this way now. We have to be very inclusive. We cannot discriminate against any woman between the ages to 18 to 28, whether she's married, she's single, she's divorced, uh, widowed, whatever it is. So long as you're a woman, you fit into this criteria to participate in this event. Um, the crew and the entire team puts so much into this. 
people really don't understand how much goes into organizing a pageant. People just see the beauty and the, the women and the ladies and all that from the outside. But it really takes a lot of work to put a pageant together. Right, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and we are live at the physical screen of the Miss Universe at Nigeria 2023. I must say this is the first ever um, so it's a fit for us here at Silverbird Television and Communications and you're welcome to the live screening. I must introduce the panelists one after the other. So let's go to our first panelist who is looking very beautiful and radiant. Hi everyone, my name is Kiki. We are of course um, an actor, TV host, and the camp itinerary coordinator. My name is Mercy Frank. I am a TV anchor. First off, how have you seen the entire girls that you've been growing up against and how do you intend to be, you know, chubbies with them, even if it's a competition? The girls here, they're super amazing and friendly. Like, I'm already feeling like I'm in the competition already. My tenacity, my confidence is going to take me far. Who is your biggest competition and why? I'm in a competition, but I don't think I've, I have a competition here. Could you please tell us what actually or who specifically inspires you? The most is my mom. I decided to put my career on hold so I can pursue this dream that I've had for over 10 years. What would you do with your newfound status as winner of Miss Universe Nigeria? Um, I think the minds of those around me true, positive speaking. I'm keen to actually take a message out there about mental health. Preparedness meets an opportunity, then you get good results. What would you do with the platform? should you be at the crown. Advocate ag against um, self-sabotage. Every child, regardless of where they come from, if they may or may not have money, they still too deserve a chance to dream. The least favorite attribute about yourself? I would say the fact that I'm not the typical African thick woman. Food. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> Do you have a weakness and what is it? I like to doubt myself a lot. I will use the platform to inspire both young and older women to believe in themselves. My qualities both internal and external exude beauty. What's your strength? To always understand people, to always look beyond what the situation. If you could start your life again okay. and you could be born in any country, where would it be and why? Here in Nigeria, my family to be precise. I don't think there's anything I would want to change about where I'm coming from because my mom has done a lot of work. Why pageantry? It gives the element of empowerment on a different level. Well, I want you to know that nobody's opinion matter. Your opinion matter. You need to know that your body is your home. Honestly, I will choose to be born in Nigeria again so that I can be born to the same family and the same mother that bore me. I want to like create a platform to discover them, promote them. We see young girls around walking. I want to leverage on the Miss Universe Nigeria to help them further their education. So regardless of wherever you're from, whatever country you're from, you should, be on, you should understand the world around you and be aware of what is happening. As a woman, life comes from us. And we, we actually impact everything around us, everybody around us. And this pageant promotes that. Your beliefs, where you're from, it doesn't limit women's potential. Should you not win for any chance, okay. if you're not able to win, what would your next move be? All right, so my next move will be to keep trying out for other pageantries like next year, but I'll also keep working. I aim to use this platform to advocate for environmental sustainability to reach out and also solve the problem of food scarcity. Hi. What was the last really interesting thing that you did? I actually tried a new dish. It's called masa. It's a dish that's prepared in the north. And it made me really think that Nigeria is a very culturally diverse country. The last time I felt intense joy was actually getting an email from Miss Universe Nigeria, having to not go from 
no confidence to confidence. And I've decided to use my voice as a channel of hope and strength to women. What are your hobbies? Acting, traveling, I enjoy producing. I feel that it's very important when you get a platform like this to amplify your voice for important things. We're all dealt different cards in life and however you choose to play will determine if you are a winner. Don't see myself as flawed because I'm created in God's image and everyone that's created in God's image is not flawed. You can really be anything you want to be because really at the end of the day, all of the limitations that we have is all in our head. I want to use the platform to advocate for craftsmanship. My role model, I'm Wendy Darigo. When we stand together, we talk together, that way we can amplify our voices. I'm not scared to fail again because even though I fail, I'll be happy to come back and do it again. The very last interesting thing I did was nursing a child. I'm the kind of person that isn't afraid to fail. Just by trying, you are winning. Helping people really do make me happy. I really do not see too many competitions. However, every girl here is deserving. What in the world do you want to change? I believe we need to train women on leadership and on all other things. But as long as the men do not see women from the perspective that we want them to see, they would never be able to give us that chance. I went through a phase where I, I was suicidal. I want to lend my voice to encourage women, you know, in self-love and acceptance. What is the downside to fame and how would you mitigate that? Anyone hoping to be in the spotlight should have a good support system, be it your family, your friends, the company that's pushing you out there. Well, I feel we should all be truthful because the truth helps better than lying. At one point or the other, you get caught in your own lie. Have you ever been caught in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Only empowered people can empower people and I feel like we have forgotten what our essence is. I love that I can express creativity in poetry, in music, in modeling. To look for happiness within, that's what I would expect. If there is anything about the way girls are treated in this part of the world that you would like to change, what would that be? So I want us to know that African women are beautiful the way we are. We come in different shades. I love acting. I love presenting. And when I'm doing the things I love doing, I'm always happy. And that's being confident and like the person you want to be. It's mostly about what's within and how you portray yourself most and how you act towards others. Life is what you make of it. It is what you actually decide to do, that you will do, not what everyone else thinks you should do. I like my company and company of my friends than other people. Nobody else can do the things that I can do. Nobody else thinks like me. So I think that's what makes me stand out. There is more that needs to be done, especially to the girl child. <laughs>
representing Edo State, contestant number 32. To represent Ekiti State, contestant number 25. Enugu State, contestant number 21. We love you too. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much, Miss. Oh, thank you. It's okay. It's okay. We love you. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Gombe State, contestant number 18. Emo State, contestant number 39. Congratulations. Jigawa State, contestant number 54. Do we have another exciting one? Number 54. Representing Kaduna State. Contestant number 58. Kano State. Contestant number 38. Kasina State. Contestant number 14. All right, that is Kasina State. Representing KB State. Contestant number 11. Congratulations. To represent Kogi State, contestant number 22. We're going to go on a really quick breather, and then when we come back, we'll continue with the rest of the unveil. For now, we have our very first 22 contestants. A round of applause for yourselves. Yes. We will be right back. All right, welcome back from that really quick break. It's still Miss Universe Nigeria. The unveiling of our finalists, the 37 beautiful ladies who will be joining us in camp. And I'm with the beautiful, amazing Queen Irene, who is a writer and ex-Miss Ambassador of Peace Nigeria. Thank you for joining me here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next state to represent Miss Quara, contestant number 16. Congratulations. I know a lot of people are waiting for this particular state. Yeah, because that's where we are. Right? Okay. To represent Miss Lagos. Contestant number 44. Hey, if you want to clap, clap. It looks like Lagos. <laughs> Representing Nasarawa State, contestant number 33. Ninja State, contestant number 74. Congratulations. Ogun State, contestant number 29. Congratulations. Undo State, contestant number 31. Oshun State, contestant number 24. Congratulations. Or your state, contestant number 48. Congratulations. Plateau State, contestant number 75. Rivers State, contestant number 63. Congratulations. Sokoto State, contestant number 55. Congratulations. Taraba State, Contestant number 52. Congratulations. Don't ruin your makeup. We have a shoot to do. Yobe State. Contestant number 66. Zamfara State. Contestant number six. Congratulations. And our last state, Federal Capital Territory. Contestant number 23. All 
All right. Congratulations. We will go on a short break, and when we come back, we'll have our finalists, the 37 beautiful ladies right here up on stage. Don't go too far. It's Miss Universe Nigeria 2023. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it, our finalists, the 37 beautiful contestants for Miss Universe Nigeria 2023. They are super excited. I'm equally excited. I mean, I'm contestant number 38. Right? They better say right. They, they have to say yes. I mean, we are going to see in camp, aren't we? Of course, this is the maiden edition. We are super excited to present to you our 37 finalists. We will call on an amazing driller who is going to be doing something spectacular. We're not going to tell you what that is yet. The CEO, Kiki Lucas Drury. Kiki, to address the ladies. A round of applause for her. She comes up. I wish I could face them, but I know I have to face the camera, but I am so proud of all you girls. Um, I'm actually personally inspired by all of you, and um, I just hope that whatever happens moving forward, that you guys take everything that you've learned, the confidence, the poise, um, the intelligence, the beauty, um, you guys take it into everything that you do moving forward. I'm so proud of you guys. And also, just to say, um, the winner and two runners-up, I'm going to personally give them something from my jewelry collection. So, yes. <laughs> so, I hope to stay in touch with you guys, and congratulations. I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you so much, Kiki. And congratulations to the winner and the first runner and the second runner You'll be having luxury jewelry. All right, uh, to wrap up this amazing moment, we'll call on the group president, uh, Mr. Guy Murray Bruce, to congratulate these beautiful ladies. A round of applause for him as he comes up. Luckily for you all, you're the 37 delegates representing various states of the Federation for the first ever Miss Universe Nigeria 2023. Um, just to let you know, you all know the show is on September 10th at the Echo Hotels and Suites. Uh, be there with your fans and your friends. You never know what can happen that day. One of you, lucky winner, will head on to El Salvador for the Miss Universe pageants. So I must say a, good, a great congratulations to all of you and look forward to see you all in camp. August 31st Festival Hotel. Congratulations to you all. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another warm congratulations to all of you. My name is Bridget, and of course, welcome to Miss Universe Nigeria 2023. Woo! See you in camp. Wow! I feel super honored. I'm glad that we're paving the way. You guys watch out, we're bringing something hot. I'm grateful to God for this opportunity. Looking forward to what the opportunity brings for me. So thrilled and honored to be flying high. I can't wait to experience all of the gorgeousness that this opportunity has to offer. I'm really grateful that I was picked as one of the contestants. This is more like um, beyond what I expected and privileged to have been chosen to represent my state, Ebony State. I am so excited to be part of the first ever Miss Universe Nigeria pageant. I am part of something really, really fantastic. This is something that I've, I've always wanted. An experience I really look forward to. I'm so inspired by the selection of women that are representing all the states. This has been a lifelong dream. I am super excited and happy to be part of the maiden edition of Miss Universe Nigeria. Yay. Make sure you watch out for me. Mwah. Watch me on your screen. I'm looking forward to learning and having so much fun with my pageant sisters. I want to bring fun, 
splendor and poise. I look forward to all of the experience. I am so blessed and honored to represent the state of excellence, Lagos. Watch out for Miss Nashara, guys. Power state, let's bring it home. Let's shine and make a difference together. I can't wait to bring sparkles, fun, and learn so much through this journey. Starting with a number, and now I have a sash. I cannot wait to explore. I'm super, super excited to be representing Club 66. I'm very, very excited. I'm warm inside my heart, and I'm grateful. I'm ready to be my authentic self. This is an opportunity to come back, and I'm really happy to be here. What I can tell you is look forward for more. I'm so excited, and make sure you guys stay tuned. I am just super excited. Thank you. Being relatable, being kind, and overall just being yourself. Production was pretty very intense, you know, planning from top till this very day. It's really been, it's really not been easy, but um, we just thank God it all came out good. <laughs> what an emotional moment for me, for the ladies. They tried to get me. But they didn't succeed. They were super excited. It was an emotional moment for me and the ladies and all who was involved. So far, so good. You've seen the journey so far from the virtual screening down to the physical screening, which held at the Silverbed Galleria, Victoria Island, Lagos. And of course, all who attended and all who supported so far. And next step is these ladies coming into camp. Let's give you a snippet of what happens in the next episode. It, amazing best episode of the crowning moments for the very best ever Miss Universe Nigeria 2023. Shout out to our home away from home festival, hotel, conference, and spa, Festac Town, Lagos. And that is where we'll be for the next few days. If I should say so myself, my name is Bridget, your host. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.